Welcome to the fifth Sunday of Easter. We have missed seeing you at our Children's Liturgy of the Word, and we're so happy to have you here with us today, this Sunday, um, as we continue to celebrate Easter, the great feast. As you can see, my prayer table is white because Easter is a season of white where Father William, if you've been watching Holy Mass, he's been wearing white because we're celebrating. White is the color of celebration. We're happy to have you here today um, to open and to read from the Holy Gospel. Now, when we listen to the Holy Gospel, this is the words of God. It is the word of God coming to us from the Holy Bible, from sacred scripture. And I'm going to light our candle because these are going to be God's words coming to us. As we light our candle... We remember that we are in the presence of God, that through our baptism, we have received the light of Christ, and our job is to share this light with those around us. Now, right now, we're all staying home. So your job right now is to share the light of Christ with your family, with those that love you, with those that are close to you in your home. We usually are able to go out into the world, but right now, God is calling us to share the light with our families. As we read from the Holy Gospel, I want to just close our eyes and just take a minute to calm our hearts, to open our ears before we sing our Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God be in my mind, God be on my lips, God be in my heart. Jesus said to his disciples, don't be worried. Have faith in God and have faith in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. I wouldn't tell you this unless it was true. I am going there to prepare a place for each of you. After I have done this, I will come back and take you with me. Then we will be together. You know the way to where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we don't even know where you are going. How can we know the way? I am the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus answered. Without me, No one can go to the Father. If you had known me, you would have known the Father. But from now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. That is all we need. Jesus replied, Philip, I have been with you for a long time. Don't you know who I am? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. How can you ask me to show you the Father? Don't you believe that I am one with the Father and that the Father is one with me? What I say is not said on my own. The Father who lives in me does these things. Have faith in me that when I say that the Father is one with me and that I am one with the Father, or else have faith in me simply because of the things that I do. I tell you for certain that if you have faith in me, you will do the same things that I am doing. You will do even greater things now that I'm going back to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. And we say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. At the very beginning of this Gospel, we hear Jesus tells his disciples, do not be afraid. Have faith in God and have faith in me. And I think that's a message we can all use today. And what is faith? So in scripture, we can look to scripture to even tell us what is faith. And this comes from Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance of what we do not see. God is calling us to have faith at this time, to trust in him, that he is with us. My prayer table, you can see my cross, and it says, faith, everything is possible for those who believe. God wants us to believe. He wants us to have faith. And what is faith? 
It is hope. It is trust. The next line, it said, do not be worried. What worries us? What worries you? I want you to take a moment to think of something that you're afraid of or something that is worrying you or weighing on your heart right now. And we're going to take a moment and we're going to give that to God. That worry. In scripture, and in this gospel in particular, Jesus tells us who he is. He tells us about himself. And in this gospel, he tells us, I am the way and the truth and the life. And I made a prayer card for us here to remind us who God is. That God is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. Can you do that with me? Jesus says to us, I am the way the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let us trust in him during this time, knowing that he is good, knowing that he loves us, knowing that he sees us, that we are important to him. On my prayer table, you'll also see a statue of Mother Mary. It is a month of May where we celebrate Mary. And in a particular way, this Sunday, we are celebrating moms. It is Mother's Day. And Mary is our Heavenly Mother. She loves us very much. Jesus gave her to us as a gift. So we can always pray to her, ask her to pray for us, to be with us because she loves us very much. And I wanna encourage you on this day to do something kind for your mom, your earthly mom, or your grandmother, or a woman that is special in your life. Could be an auntie, somebody that does kind things for you, and somebody you know really loves you. And I want you to give them a little bit of extra love today, whether that's um, you do something kind without being asked, You tell them that you love them. You say a prayer for them. Those are some things you can do to show women in our life that they're important and that we love them and we're grateful for all that they do for us. We can also do that for Mama Mary. And there are some special ways we can do that. One of them is to pray and ask her to pray for us and with us. At the end of this, our closing prayer together is gonna be the Hail Mary. And that's a wonderful way for you to be able to talk to Mary and ask Mary to pray for us. We can also um, be close to her son and ask her to be with us as we are journeying. When we feel lonely, we can ask Mary to be with us. One of my friends takes a rosary with her when she goes to the Sacrament of Reconciliation. And it is a reminder to her that she is always holding Mary's hand and that Mary is going somewhere with her. Many of you came and made rosaries with us um, back in February, January, and I want to encourage you to pray part of the rosary together as a family during this time. And we remember it is one Our Father, ten Hail Marys, and a Glory Be makes a decade of the rosary. And that is a great gift, too, that you can also give your Heavenly Mother. So we're going to close with a prayer, praying together the Hail Mary in thanksgiving for our moms for our aunties, for our grandmothers, for the women in our life that are making a difference. And I want you to think about one woman that is making a big difference in your life and offer this Hail Mary for them. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Thank you for being with us today. We are going to be linking below some other resources for you, the children's bulletins, some coloring pages uh, for you to be able to do at home um, to celebrate this fifth Sunday of Easter. And we will see you next week for our sixth Sunday of Easter. God bless you. We miss you.